everyone, how's it going? It's Lazarus here, back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the 8 tank mates for Neon Tetris. As you know, I've been doing quite a few videos about Neon Tetris lately. This is the last one, at least to what I know of. So if you haven't seen the rest of the videos, make sure to watch them. The link is above to the playlist. But without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> Okay, so first on the list is live bearers, and what I mean by live bearers is platies, mollies, guppies, and sawtails, all types. They go great with neon tetras because they are all peaceful and stay a reasonable size, but the platies do get to 8 centimeters, the guppies will get to 6 centimeters, uh, the mollies and the sawtails will get to 15 centimeters, so make sure you have big enough tanks for them as well as the neons, because as you know, the neons need to be in schools, so there needs to be plenty of room, and live bearers like to have some space in the aquarium to chase around, and if you get a male and to female then they're gonna breed a lot when you have a male and female at least in an aquarium they're gonna breed so much it's not gonna be funny and to tell the differences between male and females it's quite easy the males will have a gonopodium a stick like anal fin as you can see above and then the females will have a triangular fanned out anal fin so keeping these fish I'll go in hard water from 7.0 to 7.5 make sure the hardness in the water isn't too high for the neon tetras Puppies and platies will need a minimum tank size of 40 litres, 10 gallons, and then the sawtails and mollies will need a minimum tank size of 20 gallons, 80 litres. Uh, they are very peaceful and will not try and nip at your non tetras, but sometimes sawtails can, can be a little nippy, so make sure to keep an eye on them with your neon tetras. Beta fish are colourful tropical aquarium fish that go great with neon tetras. They have so many different varieties out there and different types you can get. And as you can see here are some pretty cool looking Dumbo betas. They're females. Uh, the males will have much bigger fins and have a displayable body. But the females will just have a normal, normal finage and a normal looking body. But they can look colourful sometimes, so that's what's so cool about them. Uh, you can't keep two males together because they will fight each other to their death. But the females are able to go together, which is great. And you'll be really happy with just the females because they're so cute and have great personalities. They don't really bother the Neon Tetris much, but you do need to keep a good eye on them in case they do have a little go at the Neon Tetris since they are colourful. Betas need a pH of 7.0 to 7.5. They grow to a maximum of 5 centimeters and need a minimum tank size of 20 liters, 5 gallons. Yet yeah, another beautiful fish, but another really good ne Neon Tetra tank mate is the Dwarf Garamis. The reason why I think they're such great tank mates with Neon Tetras is first of all, they're peaceful once again. And also they look great with Neon Tetras because as you can see, there are blue and red versions like the powder blue Garamis and this um, average one right here. But there are so many different Dwarf Garamis out there or a few different. It's quite easy to tell male and females if you do want to breed them. Uh, the females will be gray and really dark whereas the males will have all these colors and displayable fins as you can see here so keeping these fish it's quite easy once again they require an average pH of 7.0 to 7.5 grow to a maximum of six centimeters and they will need a minimum tank size of 10 gallons 40 liters and are really peaceful and can go with any other peaceful community fish these are these fish are best suited in planted community aquariums they look great in them and also they look great in species but overall tanks. another great fish to try out with your neon tetras If you are looking for an active bottom dweller that's fun to watch to live with your neon tetras, then Cory Catfish are probably one of the best decisions to make because they are so small, only get to 5 centimeters, so they only require a minimum tank size of 10 gallon 40 liters. The reason why though, they could probably go in a 5 gallon, but they love plenty of room to swim around and chase each other. They are schooling fish and like to be in schools of at least four. And people think that Cory Catfish will just feed amongst all the leftover food and the algae but that's actually a myth you know you'll need to feed them proper food like algae wafers or anything that's for herbivores and they will feed amongst that you can also feed them boiled cucumber or carrot or broccoli and they'll gnaw on that so they are super cute fish have great personalities and are definitely a fish you should put on your list it's Algae eater is also called a, a flying fox shark 
They get pretty big in aquaria and can um, grow to a maximum of 15 centimeters, six inches. So you will need a minimum tank size of 80 liters, 20 gallons. They go pretty fine with uh, neon tetras. They won't try to bother them because they are peaceful and will get along with them well. They'll just graze along all the algae on the plants. And also you want to feed them some algae wafers, just like the cory catfish. Once again, they won't just eat algae, but they are quite cool looking. They do prefer heavily planted aquariums. Plus they look great in them because there'll be lots of leafy plants for them to graze on. And they have quite a range of pH. They can live from 6.0 up to 8.0. So you can give them in, you can put them in soft water and hard water. And then they will be able to live in temperatures from 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. Next on the list are the angelfish. They are very common, popular aquarium fish and they do great in heavily planted aquariums. They are great with neon tetras because they come from the same area in the wild, the Amazon, and they also are overall get along well together. Uh, angelfish look beautiful in aquariums. You can get all sorts. They do grow pretty big, so make sure you have a minimum tank size of 40 gallons, 160 liters, because they can grow to a maximum of six inches, 15 centimeters, and 15 inches tall so you do need to make sure that they have plenty of room to swim around. They require a pH of 6.0 to 7.5 and are compatible with many other peaceful community fish just make sure they're not too small or else they might try to eat it but neon tetras are great plus they look really cool together so I definitely recommend you get the angelfish. Okay, so here's probably a really obvious one, other small tetras. The reason why I want to say this is because there are so many other tetras out there that go great with neon tetras. You might think these are neon tetras here, but they're actually cardinal tetras. So many, there's also these phantom tetras. They're all beautiful and they go so well together since they're all tetras. I just think that you should have a go with having different schools together and just, and just having mixes of different tetra schools looks absolutely amazing. So I definitely recommend you get other the tetras mostly they'll have the same requirements as the neon tetras so i don't really need to cover that but they are great together so make sure to think about getting other tetras Last on the list are the Harley Quinn Rasboras. The reason why I chose these Rasboras specifically is because they look so cool and I really think they go well with the Neon Tetras and I just think they're a perfect fish to go with them. They're also schooling fish and require and need to be in school of at least six and they're so cute and very active so they'll, they'll readily feed in the middle region of the aquarium. Uh, they require a pH of 6.5 to 7.5 and they'll need a minimum tank size of 10 gallons for liters because they are schooling fish and love to chase each other around and plant and have plenty of room to swim in uh the fish look best in large planted aquariums so so do think of getting a nice planted aquarium filled up with uh, with harley quinn rasboras and neon tetras but yeah great fish and that's it for today's video thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and found it very helpful there are quite a range of good tank mates for neon tetras out there you do have quite a good variety of choice uh, th um, i really appreciate you watching comment what your favorite tank mate is down below and i'll see you in the next video bye